Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host as always covering Tesla News. Today we will look into the entire process where the batteries will come from for Giga Berlin because there's a lot of misunderstanding that I recently have seen. So we will look into that. I will explain you what the strategy is and we will go back to the earnings call and look at the statement of Elon Musk as well as other persons like Drew Belglino and we will look into that today. Furthermore, I have some numbers for you prepared. We will look into Giga Berlin and we will also look at news coming from uh, California because there are new rewards to buy Teslas and we have some stats on deployment of lithium batteries because Tesla is just crashing and leading, leading so much ahead of the competition. And if you do enjoy that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and support me and let's dive into today's video guys. So first we talk about the new battery cells, so the 4680 production. So there is a lot of misconception when it comes to how this is all going to play out for Giga Berlin. And I just want to remind you guys, the initial plan was again, as I have always mentioned on my channel, to get support from the production at the Cato Road facility. So the facility, Roadrunner facility that we know is in California. But we also know that the production is a bit delayed. So we are looking at a full production or full volume production in 12 to 18 months. But it's still the plan to supply Giga Berlin with the new battery cells from that production facility. There's nothing has changed about that. But what has changed is that the work with the suppliers together and we are having here LG, Cham, Panasonic and Cuttle, these three main suppliers of Tesla will help to supply Giga Balloon 2. So as we do know that the battery production facility at Giga Berlin won't be ready at the same time that the production of cars will happen. That is the misunderstanding. So this entire confusion that we had in the past days happened as well because people believed that the production facility for the new batteries at Giga Berlin has to be ready at the same time as the production of cars. But this is not the way how it's going to work. We can produce cars at Giga Berlin before the battery production uh, cell production is happening at Giga Berlin. So this is a misconception, a, a misunderstanding of, of a lot of media outlets which are not so into the Tesla um, topic. So we can produce the Model Y here. But what is uh, key here and might be as well something new for you is not only will they supply the 4680 cells for the Giga Berlin, but if they not if they don't have enough batteries, so in any case the production is going up really fast and Tesla is not able to um, support the factory at Giga Berlin with the new battery cells, then they will work with Panasonic, LG Cham and Cuttle and just as a reminder, they have a strong partnership here. And we do know that Cuttle began a production of a facility in 2019 in Germany and LG Chem is since 2017 in Poland producing batteries as well. So what could happen is if the production is ramping up so fast that the batteries coming from California cannot support the supply that is needed for Giga Berlin, then Tesla can go to Cuttle and as well LG Chem and say, well, we need your help. We need batteries from you. And this is what they're going to do in the future. So production of cars won't be delayed because of a new battery cell production at the site at Giga Berlin. It's not going to happen at the same time. Um, it's not going to open at the same time. So this is a big misunderstanding here of a lot of people out there. So just wanted to clarify that. Furthermore, we do know that Panasonic is starting at late 2021 with the production of the new battery cells. And as well as a reminder for those who don't know that Elon Musk has clarified that they are not trying to make a competition with the new battery cells and work against their own suppliers. They have a strong partnership and they need them. 
Looking at the world plug-in vehicles top brands, we do know that in March Tesla is worldwide the number one by a big margin here. Not only that, as well for the first three months of this year, Tesla has always been also been the number one here very far ahead of all other big brands here. So we do know that Tesla is really um, ahead of the game here and we can expect that this is further going to happen once Giga Austin and Giga Berlin start producing cars in 2021. So these are really nice numbers looking at. So furthermore, um, this accounts to uh, yeah, an interesting situation. So in 2020, um, when Tesla was really successful delivering almost a half million cars, Tesla was actually deploying 18,700 tons of LC, LCE lithium cabinet equivalent, equivalent um, batteries. So they were the biggest, pro not producer, but they were the biggest um, company using the most amount of lithium in the world. So they were actually deploying 18,700 tons worth of um, lithium. And this is 67% um, of it is for the Model 3, 17% is going for the Model Y, and 16% is divided to the Model S and Model X. And this number of 18,700 tons is combined bigger than BYD, Volkswagen, Renault and Audi combined have not achieved the same amount of tons. It is just crazy. And you see with um, more batteries being produced and more factories coming out, um, we can talk about that Volkswagen is ramping up. We can talk about another company's ramping up. But again, it doesn't say that Tesla is stopping um, ramping up its own production. So Tesla is really leading when it comes to the need for lithium batteries. Furthermore, guys, we do have great news from California. We do have, again, a fuel reward for buying Teslas. And the fuel reward will be $1,500 that can be used for buying a Tesla Model 3, Y, S or X. It doesn't matter which model. So this is also officially on Tesla um, website. You can see that that you can now get this reward again. And California wants to help to further push for electric vehicles. And that's actually a um, really nice incentive that you can get here as a California citizen. And we have some really good news coming actually from the energy business guys. So the energy business mega packs will move um, to the cobalt free LFP batteries. This is actually great news coming. So the LFP cells will be going into the mega packs and we will then see maybe better returns when it comes to um, the margins in the energy business. We do know that Tesla is currently not swimming in money or making huge profits from the energy business. So it's really important to get batteries that are less expensive, having not the cobalt inside that is so rare to find or so expensive right now. And so these LFB batteries will be the flagship um, for the energy business and they will move into the mega packs. So guys, um, I hope you did enjoy my video as always bringing you the daily Tesla news. And I think we have so much more to cover in the next, next few months because so much will happen when it comes to Giga Austin and Giga Berlin. And I'm really excited that you are all part of this channel and I want to really thank you for supporting me by subscribing, but as well supporting me by commenting and giving me your opinion and please do that in the future. I'm really appreciating that. So, so thanks you very much.